Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back. So for today's video, I want to talk about the official heavy quotes there on Novi Star's TikTok account. I did a poll on my community tab because I wasn't 100% sure if this video would be like interesting to you guys or if you thought that I should make it. And pretty overwhelmingly, you guys wanted me to talk about it. So here I am. This is what we're doing today. Um, so yeah, there is a Novi Star's official, again, quotes, TikTok account that is posting as though they are the official Novi Star's brand. And I just have my doubts. Before I can get into why though, I have to make it really, really clear that this is just a theory, just like to protect myself, you know, like all of this is alleged, everything that I'm saying, I could be wrong, it could be official, like I'm just putting out my opinion and my theory, but it's not 100% confirmed. <laughs> so take what I'm saying with a grain of salt, Feel free to check it out yourself and form your own opinion. All of that jazz. I feel like I'm getting into kind of dicey territory <laughs> making this video. It's not quite the normal kind of content that I do, so I'm a little bit out of my depth. Um, but I thought it was kind of interesting, I guess might be a good word for it. And you guys wanted me to go ahead and make the video, so here we are. So that's my little please don't come for me <laughs> blurb there. This is all alleged. I could be wrong. This is just a theory. The other really, really, really important thing that I have to say in this video, if you hear nothing else, please hear this. Please do not go harass the people that I'm mentioning in this video, whether that is the actual official Novi Stars TikTok account, or I'll be discussing a few other people who seem to be kind of going along with what the Novi Stars TikTok account is posting. Please do not go look them up. I'll probably black out usernames of everyone who's not the Novi Stars TikTok account just because I feel like that would be the best thing for me to do. Um, but please don't like go and try to find it and like harass anybody because it's not that serious. And even if this does turn out to be someone who's faking being an official account, that does not mean that we should go and like hate on them or say anything harsh to them. I just wanted to make kind of an informational video about it, but like I absolutely do not condone taking any aggressive sort of action towards them, so just please don't do that. I did get one comment from you guys saying that if it is fake, it might be better to not talk about it, and I absolutely understand where you were coming from with that. I decided to go ahead and make it because I feel like there are a lot of people, and I'll get into this later in the video, but there are a lot of people who really believe this is happening and really believe that this is a real TikTok account, and I feel like it's good for people to be informed, so that's why I still felt like this was a good video to make, but I cannot be like clear enough that this is supposed to be informational and I want you guys to have this information, but I really, really don't want this to result in anyone being mean or hateful or hurtful or anything like that. Like I think it's important knowledge to have and it's an interesting topic to discuss, but that's like as far as I think it should go. I hope that makes sense. So just please be kind as always. So with that out of the way, <laughs> I was scrolling on my doll TikTok and I saw this account pop up, the Novi Stars official account. And so I was interested and I kind of started to check it out. And at first, honestly, I was like, oh yeah, this is completely plausible. I feel like since Shadow High Series 2 came out with Zoe Electra specifically, people have been kind of thinking that maybe Novi Stars will make a comeback because Zoe had a bunch of Novi Stars stuff in her design. She had like a shirt and then I know she had like her laptop was open to a Novi Stars design and I think there might have been one other thing. So there were kind of these little Novi Stars Easter eggs hidden, not hidden, but like <laughs> found within Zoe's design. And so that got people thinking that maybe Novi Stars was also going to make a comeback. So I wasn't entirely shocked to see a official TikTok account because, you know, the rumors are kind of out there, and I was like, oh, maybe this is actually happening. But the more that I looked through it, the less that I found myself believing it. Like, I wanted to believe it, because I think it'd be really cool for Novi Stars to make a comeback. Um, but yeah, the more that I went through, kind of the less that I thought it was real. And so I'm just going to lay it all out here and talk about it. And you guys, like I said, can form your own opinions on it. But I have my suspicions. So I think the best place to start is that... I don't know how on TikTok to see when someone joined. I don't know if that's possible. If it is, I don't know how to do it. But I can tell you that the first TikTok that the official Novi Stars TikTok account posted came up on April 29th of this year. So it's not very old at all. Just last month, they for like first posted. So obviously I went and I checked out the other like official, actually official for sure. Um, social media accounts of Novi Stars. So I went back to check like their Instagram and their YouTube and I think their Twitter was the other one that I checked from back when they were actively producing dolls and like an active brand. 
and nothing um nothing yet <laughs> the youtube account hasn't been updated in nine years it's been nine years since the official novi stars youtube account last uploaded a video and with youtube you can go and see and they joined uh may 14th of 2012 so you know they have been around for a while they were posting official novi stars stuff and they have not done so for many many years very similar story with the Novi Stars Twitter. They joined in May of 2012, and they haven't posted since August 11th of 2014. So again, it's been several years since the official Novi Stars Twitter has posted anything. And this probably isn't going to come as a surprise to you, but the Instagram is a very similar story where their last post was from October 17th of 2013. So all of the like old official Novi Stars uh, social media accounts haven't been active for quite literally years. Like, it's been a very, very long time. Of course, it is possible that Novi Stars is, like, starting out with a TikTok account. So, again, this comes into the, like, this is just a theory factor. But I do think it's very weird that they have all of these old official social media accounts that are absolutely abandoned. Like, they haven't been talked about or talked on, I guess I should say, in several years. So that was, like, kind of something that struck me as a little bit odd that maybe something was a little bit off with the TikTok account. One other thing that I wanted to highlight here is that between those three kind of confirmed social media accounts, Twitter, Instagram, and then YouTube, YouTube is the only one that doesn't have this saying, but Instagram and Twitter for Novi Stars both have the phrase, what on earth is going on in their description. So like two out of three, not a perfect record, but I did find it interesting that two out of the three um, social media platforms back from the old days had that kind of slogan in their description because the new TikTok account does not. Again, maybe they just aren't going with the same vibe as last time, but that was another thing that kind of raised a question in me of like, oh, they had at least some consistency amongst their old social media accounts and definitely not seeing the same thing on the TikTok. The next thing I checked out was who the Novi Stars TikTok account was following, just because I was kind of curious to see what that would tell me. And they are following a lot of other, I say a lot, they're following five. They're following five other um, like actual official brands. They're following Bratz, Rainbow High, The Little Tykes, LOL Surprise, and then the Na 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 Surprise TikToks. So like, that's pretty reasonable that an official brand account would be following other official brand accounts. However, when I went to check on a couple of the others, the official Rainbow High TikTok account that is actually verified is not following the Novi Stars account back, and then the Na 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 Surprise TikTok account is also not following them back. I also checked Bratz. They weren't following them back, but they had like so many that I couldn't get just one screenshot to show you. But the point is, is that the official brands that are like, actually for sure official brands on TikTok are being followed by this Novi Stars TikTok account, but they aren't following them back. So that was like a little bit weird to me because even if you're trying to kind of slowly roll out a release or kind of keep it on the down low for now, I feel like it's a bit strange to not have the brands following each other back. So for me, that's another thing that just immediately struck me as being like, this might not be a real official account. And then we get to the TikToks themselves. So one kind of content that is on their account is like reposting other people's Novi Stars content. So they will, with credit, you know, <laughs> that's like the one good thing that I can say is that they are crediting the people who originally made these videos, but they will have a couple videos showing off other people's Novi Stars um, collections, as well as a video showing off some Novi Stars art that someone else drew. So like that, I don't think is super unusual. I feel like an actual brand would do that as well. Again, with credit, I feel like it would be much much sketchier if they weren't giving credit um, but I know like Rainbow High will repost people's stuff with credit of like their collections or their fan art so that is pretty reasonable some of the other TikToks though are a little bit more suspicious to me because they're all old content like they're all old Novi Stars content whether it's like little animated clips or they'll show like old pictures of dolls that sort of thing it's Mostly it's old stuff. I say mostly, we'll get there in a second. But I do think it's a little bit strange that if they are wanting to promote a rollout of new Novi Stars releases, they're using all of these old clips instead of new animation, new art, or new stock photos or anything like that. And then the other thing is a TikTok advertising a supposed pre-order of like 
a second rollout of Novi Stars. They're not originals, like they're promoting that they're doing basically reproductions, but there is a TikTok with like a little clip of an Amazon button saying add to cart, and that one especially struck me as extremely suspicious. They have a few TikToks that are kind of like advertising a pre-order for these reproduction dolls, and all of them are saying that it's sold out. Like, none of them has a link to the pre-order, none of them has any tangible information other than, oh yeah, it's sold out in only a few minutes. And in the comments, the Novi Stars account will be saying, oh yeah, we're gonna be available on Amazon, Walmart, and Target, like those sorts of retailers, but nothing tangible. And the TikTok that I mentioned with the little screen grab of the Amazon add to cart button was one that struck me as especially suspicious because instead of showing the full listing, it's like a cropped image of just the add to cart button, which obviously you can see that button on any item on Amazon. So like, that's a little bit weird. Like if you're wanting to show it off, I feel like it would make sense to show off the actual item. They do have a couple of TikToks showing off these like reproduction dolls that allegedly were up for pre-order. One of them I believe was Ally Electric, and then I think the other one was Tilly something. I forget her name. I can't remember it off the top of my head. I'm sorry. <laughs> but so there are a couple TikToks that are like showing old images of these dolls saying that these were the ones that were available for pre-order. But again, they are at least the same stock photos that were used before. I have no way with like my knowledge of knowing for sure that it's not a new stock photo, but everything looks the same, like the box looks the same from what I can tell from the very limited shots that they show. Like they are very careful to not show really the full doll, but everything looks very similar to me. And this is where we kind of get into the comments because I find this especially interesting. I saw on the TikTok about Ally Electric a comment saying that the box that they're showing is not the same as the original box. And like, I'll show you the clip in the TikTok of like what that box looks like from, again, the very cropped image that you get. And then this is what the original box looks like. So it's hard to do a one-to-one -one comparison because you aren't seeing the full image on TikTok, but it looks the same to me. So like, even though someone is commenting saying, no, 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 the original box looks different, it, to me, it doesn't. And it's interesting because it's not the official Novi Stars TikTok commenting this, it's like other people. And then there was another one where they posted about the pre-order um, and how Tilly had been available and someone commented saying that they did pre-order her and like they'll give us an update. And they did post an update with a photo of Tilly in box, but that's all that we've gotten at least as of time of filming. That account hasn't shown any like more detail and they even in the comments were saying that her head doesn't like have a date stamped on it so it's not like it'll say on the back oh MGA 2023 if it's like a new doll head there's none of that and the other thing is that this user is kind of being aggressive in the comments like people are understandably skeptical I'm doing a whole video about why I'm kind of skeptical about this account and the user who said that they pre-ordered Tilly and bought her are being like pretty hostile in the comments when it comes to people asking for proof, whether they're asking for, again, like if they could see a date on the head or if there's a date on the box or like a barcode or something like that. They're really just fighting against giving that, which to me is an indicator that it's like an old Tilly that they maybe bought off of eBay or even if they did buy it on Amazon, it's not like a reproduction, it's just the original one. and. The reason I say that is because to me, it's like if you did buy something on pre-order and you have some sort of proof of that where you can say, oh yeah, like here's the date on the head, here's the date on the box. Again, like these things that you could try to do, just show it. Like it's on TikTok. It's really easy to just do a six second video being like, oh yep, here it is. So to fight this hard against showing proof to me is like only done because you don't have that proof. And yeah, basically I just find it very interesting because with all of this stuff that I've talked about in this video, as I said at the beginning, I personally think that this official Novi Stars TikTok account is not really official. It's just someone pretending to be an official account. To what end? I don't know. It's just like a little practical joke, I guess. And like I said in the beginning also, that does not mean that I think that anyone should direct hate towards this person, whoever they are, whoever's running the account first because I could be wrong and it could be just like a really weird social media rollout but also because it's not appropriate even if it is a prank to be mean to that person 
Um, but I did think it was very interesting that there were other people in the comments who were kind of playing along and same goes for them. Like, I don't want anyone to go and like find their usernames and decide to like throw shade at them. But I just think it's interesting that people are doing that. A lot of people in the comments are also like fully buying into it. And that's why, like I said, I'm just repeating everything I said at the beginning, <laughs> but that's why I said at the beginning, like, I kind of wanted to make this informational video because if you just see one TikTok of this Novi Stars official account and like you just see it and you're like oh that's cool and then you scroll past you might not realize that like there is some question behind whether it is official or not and so like I wanted to present that information to you because I think it's really sad that some people are getting super super hyped up for something that personally I don't think is going to happen again if I eat my words that is great I would love to see Novi Stars come back I just don't think that this account is for real um, but yeah, so there's like a few people in the comments kind of playing along. There's a lot of people who are very excited and there are people who are also questioning it and who are kind of commenting being like, hey, this is not real or like, is there something we can get in terms of confirmation? Tons of people in the comments asking where they can find links for the pre-orders and that honestly, amongst everything that I've said, like I feel like everything that I've pointed out in this video has been a reason to kind of be suspicious about the legitimacy of this TikTok account, but the pre-order links or lack thereof is like the biggest reason to me that I'm kind of suspicious of this because even if the link at this point doesn't lead to a functioning page, the fact that I haven't been able to find anyone providing a link and I haven't been able to find any like recent postings of like new Novi Stars pre-orders is suspicious to me. I'm not going to try to pretend that I'm the greatest internet sleuth ever because I am very far from that, but I wasn't able to find any like pre-order links for these dolls. Even if they were to say sold out, I wasn't able to find anything at all on Amazon, Walmart, or Target. No one in the comments has been able to provide a link. Like I said, we had a couple people being like, oh yeah, I got them, but no one has like shown the link that they purchased it from or shown the page or even given an item number in like Target or Walmart systems. So that's the most um, damning piece of evidence to me that would suggest that this account is just kind of like a hoax account. I It's sad to say because like I would love to see <laughs> Novi Stars come back but I just don't think that this one is real. There's a lot of reasons and individually I think that maybe you can make an argument against them but as I've laid them all out in this video, I think when you stack them all together, again, at least for me personally, this seems like a fake official account. So yeah, that is kind of my thoughts and my opinions on the Novi Stars TikTok account. I would love to hear if you guys have also encountered this account and kind of what your first impressions were on it or like what you think about it now after watching the video. I don't know. It was just kind of an interesting thing to look into. I feel like fake accounts and like fake leaks and everything is actually a very common occurrence within the doll collecting community. Um, I feel like especially fake leaks, people will make edits all the time of different dolls and claim that it's a new like Monster High Leak or a new Rainbow High Leak. So it's not uncommon necessarily, but it is just kind of interesting to dive into and take a look at at least one thing that I personally don't think is real and kind of discuss why I don't think that. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the video for today. A little bit different for me. Sorry if I seemed kind of weird. I just like wanted to get all my ducks in a row with this one. You know, like I wanted to present the information as properly as possible. Hopefully I will have been successful doing that. But like I said, I would love to hear your thoughts on the TikTok in the comments down below and then also your thoughts on this video in the comments down below and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be and i will catch you in the next one bye guys